Hi, I'm Sadie Nardini. Welcome to your total body transformation sequence plus abs. So your core is both inside deep to the spine and outside here on the abdominal wall. We're gonna work it all plus the whole body too. Let's begin. Come on here into your mountain pose. Step about two fist distance. That's your fist and your hip distance apart. So take a deep breath in, press the feet down, wave all the way up through your belly and stretch the arms. On your exhale, palms through center, fold forward. Bend the knees if needed and work the edge of your stretch here. Inhale, lift the belly, look forward. On your exhale, I want you to step it back, downward facing dog. Inhale, bend the knees. And on your exhale, lift your belly and float that heart and chest forward into your plank pose. Take a deep breath here. On the exhale, knees come down if you need to. If that belly's sagging, forget about it. Lift it back up. Otherwise, knees can lift. And let's lower slowly down towards the floor. Shoulders stay above the elbows, please. Point the toes. On your inhale, stretch low or higher into cobra. And on your exhale, knees can come down, belly lifts, or you might try pressing those pointed feet down for pointed plank. And let's transition one foot at a time, keep that belly strong into downward facing dog. Now on your inhale, lift one leg sky high, and on the exhale, knee comes into the chest, round it way up. Step that foot to the same thumb, so a little wide. Inhale, look forward. And on your exhale, slowly roll up to a high lunge. Deep breath in. On the exhale, bend that back knee, fists of fire. So you want to transform. You have to get ready to feel some intensity, but stay fiercely dedicated to your ultimate goals. So that's what this exhale and fists of fire will remind you. Exhale it out. Take a deep breath in here. Open the hips, back foot down to the floor, warrior two. Take a deep breath, reverse that warrior. Back hand on the hip, on the thigh, or even down there on the shin. Stretch it out. On your exhale, come back to warrior two. Sweep that back arm down and forward as you lift the back heel into your lunge once again. On the exhale, palms to the chest at namaste and we'll twist that elbow over that front leg. Good, lift your belly here and spin the chest even more. Super strong legs, but if you want, that back knee and shin can always come down. Good, inhale here. Exhale it out, look down for balance, right back up to that high lunge, stretch it out. Exhale, plant the hands down and return to your downward facing dog. You can spin the knees one way and then the other. That's a stretch I love to take there. Good. And then bend the knees to center. Lift the belly, roll forward plank. Slowly lower down. If you feel like you have the arm strength today, hover halfway down. This is Chaturanga and open up through the chest to your capacity. On your exhale, pointed plank or knees down, back to your downward facing dog. Let's flow on the other side, lift the leg high, exhale, knee to chest. Step it all the way forward. Use that core strength for that transition. Inhale here, long spine. Exhale, we roll up to access the muscles along the spine as well as the outer abdominal muscles. Stretch the arms up. Exhale, bend that back knee, fists of fire. Remember that dedication to your best self ever. Exhale. Inhale, reach. Exhale it out. This time, as you reach up, open the hips and ground the back foot down, warrior two. Reach back with the back hand, hip, thigh, or shin, and stretch it out. Reverse that warrior. Inhale here. On the exhale, back to warrior two, long spine. I want you to sweep that back hand down, lift the heel, and reach to the sky. On that next exhale, hands come to the chest, twist to the other side, there it is. So back knee can come down if you want. Otherwise, center those hips toward the earth and spin the chest and top shoulder blade a little more. Inhale, press the feet down, and exhale. Now hold this pose a little different. We're gonna look down at the floor for balance and step that back foot forward. Find a twisting chair pose right here. Lift the belly and spin that chest. Now you can stay here for a few more breaths or half bind that top arm and stretch the shoulder until you're ready for a forward bend. But if you'd like to try this super adventure pose, do it with me. 
We'll try for the arm balance here. So hook that arm around. Plant your hands out in front of you, shoulder distance. Lift the heels. Now lift your hips really high and walk over towards that outside front hand. As you lean the chest forward, maybe you'll balance this pose. It's a side crow. So fun if you can do it. Try it. You might find you can do more than you think. Come back to center. Press the feet down. Lift way up. Stretch into your chair. On the exhale, palms together. Twist the other way. So it's a nice long hold and a detoxifying twist. Because I want your body to transform from the inside out. Not just look better, but feel better too. Inhale, look forward. Top shoulder blade on the back. So stay here for a few more breaths. Fold forward if you want to. And if you're feeling it today, just plant those hands out to the side. We have a little fun in yoga here. So we really get into our foundation. The hands plant wide. Lift the heels, lift the hips. Walk over to the outside hand, that front hand there, and then reach the heart forward into a triangle point with your hands. That's your physics point of balance. Nice, come back to center, everybody. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, fierce lion. Fist come in, out through the tongue, and throw away anything that is holding you back from total transformation. Exhale, good, one more time. Inhale it up, exhale. Interlace the hands behind you. Deep breath, lift the belly, exhale and fold. Two more like that. Legs can be as bent as you need to. Exhale, fold to meet your edge. And inhale, reach. Exhale, fold it out. Good. Slowly bend the knees, plant those hands there, and step it back into downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the one leg up again. That first leg, lift it, and on your exhale, step it forward. Ground the back foot this time. I want you to press the feet down and roll yourself open into a warrior two. We start like this. So inhale a little bit higher and on the exhale, front forearm on the front thigh. Circle the back arm down, forward and up. Two more times. Get a lot of freedom in that shoulder and the breath. Exhale. Inhale, turn the palm behind you up there. Bend the elbow and plant that hand back there. Now you can stay here breathing and opening into your twist. Or if you want to try the full bind, you're going to spin the heart down and round in through the core. Reach that bottom arm back underneath the thigh. And maybe you can catch a hold of that top hand. If you get that, you lift the belly in and up and open the chest even more. One of those two should work for you right now. Everyone inhale here. This is going to feel really nice after this. Now on your exhale, we're going to circle the hands down, and that outside front hand is going to come under the shoulder. Slowly plant the back knee down. Reach the other arm up into a twist. So here we are. Nice deep breath. Back leg can stretch up if you want, but you might be ready for knee down poses now. Belly in and spin the heart. We can turn the front toes open just slightly. Maybe the knee can open. That's delicious. If that feels good for you, Hey, why not add a quad stretch? Bend the back knee, take the inner foot. If any of that is too much, back it off to a previous variation. Inhale and exhale. This is such a great stretch to multitask what we just did. Slowly unwind yourself, plant yourself back down. Now opposite leg is gonna lift. Let's flow that on the other side. Step it forward. Slow-mo, come on up and open to warrior two. Good, deep breath. Exhale, front forearm on the front thigh. Begin to circle this arm back, down and up. Do it again. Feel the breath pour in and transform you from the inside out. And next, last time, top arm, half bind it or fully bind it. Full bind, turn the chest down and round. It's gonna make it easier to get into the core and really open up from there. Good, take a deep inhale. Exhale it out wherever you are. Fully lift the belly, open the chest, and spin open the heart. Good, and then you circle it down. Outside hand down, spin the back heel high. Put the knee down if you want to, and let's spin into that counter stretch. Feels so good. 
and we can absolutely stay here or spin the toes open a little bit. Open that knee too. Maybe you wanna hang on if that feels all right. You got the quad stretch just waiting for you. So really transforming that whole body. Good, everybody. Inhale here, exhale, spin. Last little moment, get ready. We're gonna plant those forearms down and interlace the hands. I want you to find your way back onto the knees or a plank with forearms down and begin to roll knees or feet from side to side. Diablo Asana, nice little belly blast to end the session today. Go for it, one side and then the other. Front belly lifts, tailbone long, and you're done when you're done. You're gonna rest back in a beautiful child's pose for a few sweet breaths here. Good going with your total transformation. We'll see you soon. Namaste.